Hi, this is Jill with Quick Flicks. I'm going to do a couple quick uh, quick time player um, videos here. Uh, I had somebody ask me how I was able to upload my images to the Clipping Magic. You do not have to subscribe in order to practice and see if you want to purchase the program. All I do, I work on a Mac and I don't think it's any different on a PC. This is my folder of all of my files, all of my pictures. All I do is drag and drop my picture. That's all I do. And if I take a picture off of the internet um, that I want to use, I download it and I just go to my downloads and then I drag and drop it into the file. And then let's say this is my, my beautiful Kendall, um, my daughter and son-in-law and, and whoops, <laughs> got the wrong button here, trying to move it over and I'm getting the wrong thing. Um, anyway, if I wanted just a picture of her here holding the sign, here's my daughter and, and my other grandkids here in the background, I can go ahead and didn't mean to do that either. I'm trying to do too much in a hurry because I just did this recording and it wouldn't let me save it because it took me too long. So let me try this again. I'm going to take my rad around what I don't want and then I'm going to hit my green of what I do want. I don't want this over here so I'm gonna take and erase that out. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm doing this too much of a hurry. I'm gonna change my background color also to white. And Again, I drag and drop. I don't use the upload button. Never have. I've always just dragged and dropped either from my downloads or from my um, my files, my picture files. Whoops. Hit the wrong one. I wanted green. Anyway, let me see here. And normally this is, doesn't take but a few minutes to do, but of course, every time you try and do something in a hurry... It always takes a long time, but anyway, just click along where you want your image or the colors or the part of the image that you do want, and I want just her. I'm going to say, so there we go. You can see the results over here. On the day I called to you, you answered me. You made me bold with strength. Psalms 138, 3. My beautiful Kendall. But anyway... Then you can go back, and if you can see over here, there's a little bit of color that you can fine-tune it. You can zoom in or whatever. Um, I don't really need, I don't think I need to spend a whole lot of time. You just wanted to know how to get the pictures downloaded. So anyway, that is all you need to do. Again, it's drag and drop. And I'm going to, next video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did a photo prop of an Instagram. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. This was the thing I'm going to show you um, that I did a photo prop, and it's an Instagram photo photo prop. And what I did is I went into Google, and I did a Google search of Instagram, and then I went into images. And all I did was, was go through the images until I found one that kind of showed me what the um, Instagram looks like. I don't use it, so... I have to I have to have a visual here because I don't use Instagram. Anyway, here's a photo. I didn't use this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that one and copy. And then I'm gonna go into my silhouette here software and I'm gonna paste it. Because that was what um, this photo again was not my what I used for reference. But anyway, I made my own photo prop here. And the way that I did it um, on the image, it, which is done here, you can see it, and I'll show you photos. But I wanted the little camera up here, and I went in and used the Instagram and put it in the center. I found ones that were more updated, plus the person this is for. Janice, thank you very, very much. This is her picture up here, um, and her information, and everything she wanted on the photo prop. Um, this was likes 1976, which I'm assuming doing the math that this would have been the year she was born. I have down here liked, and then there's the heart up here saying 1,976 folks liked it. 
that's her, her, I thought that was very catchy, Janice, I must admit, that was very, very cute. And then things that she wanted it to say with the uh, tag sign, which is done in blue, and, but the w way that I had done it was, I am going to show you, first thing I want to show you is when it's, it's all done, I wanted to make it as large as I could on a two, uh, 12 by 24 inch mat, so I cut the thing in half, then what I did is I turned it 90 degrees, and that's how I print it out, like that. Now I'm going to turn it um, back, and then I'm going to show you this is all put together with individual pieces. Um, this is also together with the white, then I cut out the blue and layered it up there, the Instagram, all of this information. So this is all built with individual pieces. I cut everything up and that is how I did it. So I grabbed and I centered my Instagram. Whoops, I missed my, one of my letters there. That's another thing is you have to make sure you're grouping a lot of this stuff as you go because when you go to move it and put it where you want it, it you don't have everything there. And then you have to go through and piece it all together. Now when you do piece it all together, I'm going to see if I don't do this too long. What you do have to make sure, I'm going to go all the way back and put this back together and show you that when you do go to cut it, I, I hit that too many times, you have to make sure that, see I hit the back up too many times. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to have time because I just kept hitting the key. Here, that wasn't me. I'm going to put it on the mat so you can see when I say cut outline. Make sure when you hit cut outline, this is the piece that I want to cut. And I want cut cut outer edge. Whoops. Cut outer edge. What's going on here? Something happened now that it's not working right. Let me see what this one does. When I cut outer edge, let me switch it to no cut. Then cut outer edge. It's not. Let me see what it is doing wrong. I messed with it so much. But anyway, when you cut outer edge, for some reason I hit the so many keys, it's, it's not liking me right now. So it's not doing what I wanted to show you was this line here from the bottom where these connect is showing it would cut there, which tells me that this is not close enough. So what I do is I edge it over until I no longer see that line. And right now that is not happening because this isn't working correctly. And I think it's because I hit the backup key too many times. Um, the software wasn't prepared for that. So let me see if that, if I group that, if I can get it to show cut out line only. Nope, it's not. No cut. And now outer edge. No, it's not. I'd have to start all over again and this is going to be too long. But anyway, I'm going to show you the end results with some pictures. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.